KPRC Local 2. This is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. And welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. In late October, the Houston City Council approved $550,000 to be invested in programs focused on youth crime prevention and child safety. What does that mean? And how can you possibly get involved? Dr. Lisa Thompson Carruthers is the director of the Case for Kids Connection program in the Harris County Department of Education. Welcome. Nice for you to be here. What does that mean? What does that money go? What is Case for Kids? We are an after school intermediary, so we work to leverage local dollars as well as federal. We run 58 after school programs that have federal support, but we've been also working to build in projects through Houston Endowment and now through the city of Houston that provide project based funding for our families and working families in need. How did that come about? How did it get to the city council that it came out of their body as opposed to some other place where you might normally get funding? Well, we've been doing a lot of research at the local level to talk about the impact of after school. We know that after school programs help support academics, but we started a local effort, grassroots, to look at our own community and talk about the impact past academics. We know that we're building in social emotional learning, team building skills, all those things that the school day doesn't have necessarily the ability to, and flexibility to do anymore. Mm -hmm. And for a lot of low-income families, we're facing an opportunity gap. We're seeing research showing that the money that you invest in these out-of-school enrichment opportunities is increasing over the last decade. Families can invest for a low-income family, it can cost up to a quarter of their income mm. to provide these after-school care if they're working, plus the enrichment and the ballet and piano, things we all want our kids to have. True, true. And so we started doing the research and talking to our community. We gathered local leaders for youth development and as well as started talking to city council members and foundations, et cetera. And so through all these conversations, just talking about need, council member Brad Bradford put in a budget amendment to put up half, over half a million dollars to support after school programming. And how does that money get disseminated? How, you know, as an organization, if I qualify, I could apply for these funds? Exactly. So we, as the After School Intermediary, have a contract with the City of Houston to manage the funds. We have a website, both through our Harris County Department of Education's website, hcde-texas.org, or we, we offer this resource, the After School Zone. Mm -hmm. Makes it a lot easier. Yes. So it's After School Zone, www.afterschoolzone.org. You can go onto a funding line and you'll see the application. We're collecting applications on January 5th. We will continue to accept applications through April. However, money will run out really fast. A half a million dollars sounds like a lot of money, but I would almost bet when we collect these applications in January, that money is going to be gone. So if you're interested in getting it, you need to have you your application. What now. kind of organization do I need to be in order to go ahead and, and apply? You have to be a nonprofit organization, a 501c3, or in collaboration with one or a charter school or a school. So a, a school inside of a school district could make the application. Or, a, or the nonprofit that wants to work with them. So an example of an opportunity would come in during spring break and provide services when the school is closed by that nonprofit partner. Mm -hmm. Or it, summer program. We think a lot of applications might come in for June. What would be really a typical huge. amount, do you think? Or is that broken down in, in increments? Yes, five to $15,000. This is really seed money. This is money for special projects. It is, for June, you might do four weeks, half a day program to wrap around a school based program. You might come in for that week of spring break. You might go in two days a week in the spring to offer a content-based expertise, mm -hmm. whether it be robotics or something that builds on uh, sports or rec. Just depends. But it's the money is rooted in the city council district. So you have to notify your city council member as well as turn in the application to us. All right. Well, I want to make sure everybody has this information. If you're interested, a couple of ways to find out. You can go to the number, which is 713-696-1330, or that very easy website Dr. Carruthers talked about, afterschoolzone.org. And remember the application period, January to April, and get it in quickly because the money is likely to be gone. Dr. Carruthers, thank you so much for coming in. Letting a lot of other people, I'm sure, are going to want to be able to get involved in getting this program. Maybe we can help these young people um, be involved in something really nice after school instead of gang activity. Exactly. That's the goal. Thank you very much.